Being in the restaurant business, I think that we need to push for a smoke-free Texas um, because it's not fair to the workers that we have to work there and we don't have the choice if we want to smoke or not, if we want people to smoke or not. It's just not a healthy environment for us. When people smoke secondhand smoke, there's no such thing as a safe, safe amount of um, secondhand smoke. It penetrates your clothes, it penetrates your, your um, even your taste buds. You go home to your family and you smell just like a giant ashtray and nobody really likes that. I've never, I've actually never met a restaurant owner that is against it. Yes, we do want people to have their rights, and you can smoke outside, I mean, all you want, in your home, private clubs, that's, that's, that's not going to be touched. But in the, in uh, restaurant owners, I think we're all on board, and I can safely say that um, we're not against that as much as people would think we were. <laughs> we are asking for support for uh, funding for the, um, Cancer Research Center um, here in Texas. The research is important in our area. A lot of people forget about the Lower Rio Grande Valley. Um, we don't have the uh, we don't have any advocates out there. Um, we need to get this research. We need to get this information down there, especially in, in such a, in a Spanish-speaking um, uh, location where we live. Um, it, it, we, we we're out of touch with some of the, the stuff that happens in the bigger cities and, and stuff. And I think that if we create awareness, um, they'll they'll come down to and help educate us. <laughs>